hello everyone and welcome back so today i'm gonna be sharing with you how i got this easiest summer friendly pink smoky eye makeup tutorial so before getting into the video don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell to stay updated every single time i upload a video okay so let's get started with the skin prep and always use a moisturizer before starting your makeup just start with a clean canvas and use a moisturizer always no matter what skin type you have and this cream particularly works beautifully under my makeup that's why i love using it next i'm using this silicone based primer now a primer helps you to get that perfect canvas to work with now especially if you have oily skin a primer always helps your makeup to stay on your skin for a longer period of time if you have been following me for a while now you will know that i love mixing my foundations to get that perfect finish and i have seen that whenever i mix my foundations my base looks more than perfect Now let's move on to the concealer and this is my favorite concealer. This is about to get over so I already have one backup and I also got a new L'Oreal concealer that's the infallible one. L'Oreal concealers are just the best. Okay now to set all of the liquid products on place I'm using a compact powder. So first I'm gonna apply it on those areas where I get creases the most like around my eyes, on my smile lines and then I'm gonna set the rest of my face and also I'm gonna set my t-zone area because I get oily during the day. Now that I'm done with my face, let's move on to the brows. This brow pencil is really really good and also the shade, it matches me perfectly. I'm not gonna go ham with it as I already have fuller looking brows. So I'm gonna just fill in the gaps in between and also gonna give a little bit of structure to it and that's it. Moving on to the eyes and this is the new Nykaa Daydreaming palette and I'm gonna take this shade and look what I have done. I stabbed it with my nail and look this is how blinding the shade is. So I ended up highlighting my nose with it and why waste any product right? And this worked perfectly as a nose highlighter. Okay first I'm gonna be applying the shade all over my crease as my transition color. And here I'm just building up the color little by little and when I first applied it, it didn't show up that much. Now while I'm editing this video, I am feeling like I should have used an eyeshadow primer. Anyway, moving on using this brown shade on the outer portion of my eyes just to define my eyes a little bit. And this is also gonna give some dimension to my eyes. And then I'm using this pink shade on the inner one third area. Now these eyeshadows are blendable but they are not that much pigmented. I should have used an eyeshadow primer but I'm going to use it and let you guys know my final thoughts on it. Then mixing these two shades and applying it on my bottom lash line. And also I kinda connected it with my lid color. Then use this beautiful highlighter shade on the inner corners of my eyes and also on my brow bone area. Next I curled my lashes and applied a generous coat of mascara. Now this mascara gives me length, volume and everything I want. You can clearly see it by yourself how beautiful it makes my lashes look. Now that I'm done with my eyes, let's move on to the face. And today I'm gonna be using this Master Contour Palette by Maybelline. Using the contour shade to give some structure to my face and also I'm contouring my nose with it. And 
and then I'm using this blush to give some color back to my face this blush is so stunning I wish Maybelline comes with this blush separately and then using this highlighting shade from the same palette and using it on the high spots of my face like down the bridge of my nose on my cupid's bow on the cheekbones now today I went with a very soft and subtle looking highlighter like it's going to give you some glow to your face but it's not like too on your face kind of highlighter now moving on to the lips and today I'm using a very beautiful mauve dusty rose nude kind of shade it has a perfect amount of mauve in it pink in it and this is going to look stunning on a lot of Indian skin tones and yeah that's it that's the finished look i hope you guys like it i hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial if you do then definitely let me know in the comment section below please don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave and also hit on that notification bell to stay updated every single time i upload a video so yeah that's it for today's video i will see you in my next video bye